What's up guys, Don here, and I know that the last tutorial was kind of boring for you guys who've already known a lot of stuff with Pivot. So here's some stuff that you probably don't know yet in Pivot. So one is that you can see the timestamp if you hover your mouse cursor on the frame counter. Number two is you can select all frames or some of the frames with control and shift and then change the background of all these frames that you've selected or their repetition as long as you add frame after. Number three is you can take advantage of selecting a lot of stick figures at the same time with other tools like scaling or scaling by origin, rotating, rotating by origin, opacity, color, copy paste, and energy gathering and other shortcuts. Number four, you can click the node and then drag your mouse to the end of your screen so that the segment will move slowly or turn slowly or pivot slowly. I don't know which words are correct because English is not my first language. Anyways, and it's sometimes even slower than the default by pixel using the arrow keys. Uh, this one by pixel, you put your mouse cursor on the node and then press arrow keys. Here's a comparison. Number five, you can use control arrow keys while your mouse cursor is on a node so you can stretch that segment by pixel. Number six, you can hide stick figures in your frame somewhere out there in the canvas. Number seven, you can fix the bug where you can't copy paste a figure or a frame by playing and stopping the animation. Number eight, useful shortcut keys are this to move frames and spacebar to add frame. Number 9, if you're adding a lot of stick figures that is already in your library, you can hold control while loading them so that the window library will not close. So yeah. Number 10, if you messed up big time and you want to undo all, uh, just click your frame that you're working on right now. Number 11, if you want to load a lot of stick figures and don't want to hold Y for a very long time to delete them, you can do number 10 which we already talked about or add new frame and then delete the sticks and then delete the old frame number 12 for those who's using windows 10 you can pin some files for quick source open number 13 you can make your own language text file i think that's all for now i don't have anything else that i've found recently or i myself found that it is useful or easily explained like this one's but yes, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something new in this video.